Hey there guys, it's Nathan here with another update for Minigolf VR. Uh, it's been a couple of weeks since the last one I did. Basically I've been writing a thesis, which has been fun. So now that that's over I get to actually get back to devving again, which is actually fun. So there's been a few changes since the last time I did an update. Uh, the first one you might notice that the scoreboard over there is blank. Um, now if I put my controller facing upwards, then we get the scores come up. This will also be probably used as a menu system, so I'll be able to use the trackpad to select various things and do whatever. So that should be cute. Uh, the next one is also using the trackpad. It's a proper teleport system. So if I just put my thumb on the trackpad, we'll see the marker come up. Uh, it only comes up on areas that you can actually teleport to, which is essentially a flat surface defined as a Y component normal of 0.9 or higher. And yeah, so basically we can do that. Um, we use our thumb to choose the direction that we want to face. So that's just um, going around the outside of the trackpad. If you go into the center, it'll default to facing forward because it just assumes that's the way you'd want to face if you're just quickly tapping it. And then, yeah, if we want to say stand on top of the hole facing the scoreboard, then that's what we can do. If we want to go over there and face behind us, we can. So yeah, that's also a pretty useful feature. Uh, the third big one I put in is basically when people were stepping over ledges, um, they'd sort of nope out just because they were standing over thin air. Um, but now if we stand out, see we have this sort of cloud thing that forms underneath us, so when we walk around, it, we're not just like looking down at this big drop, we're actually yeah, at a proper thing. So now we can walk back and it'll just disappear. So this helps out a lot with... Yeah, those people that when they're standing over an edge, they can't really curb, I guess. Um, and the last thing at the moment is the improved water, which you might have noticed. So this is just Unity's default water, but it actually gives us proper reflection and refraction, which is really cool. It's a lot better than the cartoony one that I've had in previous videos. And um, yeah, for the most part, that's it. So. There will obviously be a few new things that need fixing up, like yeah, texturing, particles and all that sort of stuff. Um, sound effects could do some tightening as well. Um, yeah, so the other big news is that in probably a week or two I'll be putting up a Kickstarter. Um, basically it'll be for about five grand. Um, game will be, thinking ten bucks? Maybe fifteen, but I don't know, we'll see. Essentially once I start getting the multiplayer actually built, um, so then once I can have a game between me and someone else that has a Vive, then I'll be putting Kickstarter up, because basically I don't want to like promise multiplayer and then find out, oh, I can't do multiplayer, and sort of waste everyone's time and money, so yeah, once I have a proof of concept that it's actually possible, I will be kickstarting and should be pretty cool, but yeah, that's it for this video anyway. Um, let me know what you think, and I'm terrible at this level. Alright, catch you folks later.